Former Commander in Chief Barack Obama celebrated his 60th birthday anniversary today. Uh, for the birthday party today, the 44th President of the United States and first African American one, Obama rose to political power as a community organizer on Chicago's South Side and later ascended to the Illinois Senate before securing the Democratic nomination in 2008. Obama's historic candidacy came 36 years after New York Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm became the first black candidate to run for a major party nomination. Interestingly enough, Obama's birthday coincides with that of George Edwin Taylor, the first ever black candidate for president, who ran not as a Democrat, not as a Republican, but as a member of the National Negro Liberty Party in 1904. Founded in Little Rock, Arkansas in 1897, the NNLP was originally called the Ex-Slave Petitioners Assembly. The independent pro-black political organization featured the major platforms of reparations, universal suffrage, desegregation of the military, anti-lynching legislation, and pensions for the formerly enslaved. Taylor received less than 2,000 votes due to a host of setbacks, like not having any endorsements from newspapers and refusal of many states to include him on the ballot. Knowing his campaign faced nearly impossible odds, Taylor still voiced his belief that an independent pro-black political party that could mobilize the black vote was the only practical way for African Americans to leverage their political power. Taylor's ideas would live on in the Freedom Party and the Black Panther Party and others. Last summer, Robert Johnson suggested that Black Lives Matter should form their own political party because, as he put it, Democrats take black voters for granted. I, of course, just published a whole book, The Devil You Know, a Black Power Manifesto, on the importance of autonomous black political power. So today, we celebrate the legacy of Barack Obama and remember the legacy of George Edwin Taylor and the concept of independent black politics. And that is for the culture. Thank you for watching Prime and good night.